going on people it's the xbox 448 a part of the official right. we game here dot com and today i want to talk about cloud compute um ever since crackdown 3 was shown at gamescom um and they showed you know the cloud compute power in terms of the physics uh there's been a lot of craziness going on um they did state that it's it has 20 times the computational power of the X1. There's some people believe that number is completely insane. I'm here to t today to try to show you why it's not insane, but why it necessarily won't register to your console the way you think it might. First of all, in terms of power, um, for some reason or another, you know, this generation, everything, well, first of all, everything's resolution resolution equals power for some reason i i still believe that's absolutely asinine um resolution and graphics are totally different things but graphics are another big thing that people believe you know constitutes power in a console um except for freeing up your console's hardware to do more things cloud compute isn't really going to do anything for graphics for resolution but like I said, it's going to do it in terms of freeing up your console's hardware to do more things. Um, let's talk about the, the Crackdown 3 demo. Um, it was actually a really good idea to do physics in terms of destruction when showing off the cloud. And there's a reason why. If you looked at the demo, um, your X1 does handle physics. And once, once it can't handle it anymore is when it goes off to these servers. Now, this is only for multiplayer, like they said on stage. This is a, a multiplayer game in which uh, the multiplayer part of the game in which, you know, cloud compute is uh, being taken advantage of. But your, your console is still handling physics up until the point where it can't. And then these servers, which are attached to your game when you start the multiplayer... Uh, start spinning up and and computing the physics for the destruction as it goes now with your hardware handling physics already up to a limit uh, I believe that your console is uh, handling the the littler blocks and stuff like that that's falling from the from the building or whatever you're destroying um, with that that is a good umbrella or screen to hide any type of little la latency before the entire building falls down uh, it gives the servers a chance to compute the physics that are that need to go down and send it back to your system this destruction is a good way to hide any type of little latency going on with cloud computing and I really believe that's why they decide decided to do this this way um, in terms of 20 times the power, these servers can compute a bunch of stuff. And when you start linking them together, I mean, they have no problem computing physics on a massive scale. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that your game's going to be 20 times better. I know the destruction looks awesome in Crackdown. But, you know, in more and more games that are going to use cloud, cloud compute, which... Trust me, over time, more and more games are going to be using this. Um, the the compute is more for background stuff, like the skybox, uh, draw distance, um, stuff that's not immediate. Like, you're not going to use cloud compute for the physics on a bullet that you just shot in a first-person shooter. Um, stuff like that. It's not going to be used for those immediate things. But it is going to be used for, uh, for background-type stuff which frees up the hardware that's in your living room or bedroom to do more things to add i don't know more things on the screen the for those resolution nuts to kind of help uh the hardware you know go to whatever resolution you think is is legitimate for this generation but that's where you're gonna see the advantage here um all in all crackdown 3 looks uh looks really fun um i played number two with my son over xbox live we had a blast um but as usual if you like this video definitely give me a thumbs up uh definitely comment i want to know what you guys think about cloud compute um if you think i make sense and definitely subscribe but as for now this is the xbox 448 and i am definitely signing off
just too white and nerdy. Freedom just too white and nerdy. Can't you see I'm white and nerdy?